What's up, YouTube? I'm back at you with another video. Just give my reaction to the Florida versus Utah game. Uh, Utah completely dominated Florida. Um, Billy Napier got a lot of work to do with the Florida Gators, um, both defensively and offensively. Uh, Graham Mertz uh, looked terrible out there. Um, just couldn't. He started to move the ball late in the game, but uh, by that time, you know, the game was out of hand. Uh, actually, the game was out of hand in the beginning of the third quarter. Uh, he threw that pick and um, that set, you know, Utah up. And um, Barnes, man, he stepped up for Utah. Bryson Barnes. Uh, I'm going to just read off their stats, you know, uh, let you guys know uh, what they was able to do in the matchup. Um, let said say Graham Mertz, he had 31 completions, uh, 44 attempts for 333 yards, but uh, he was only able to get one touchdown, and he also had one interception. Uh, just didn't do enough, you know. Uh, he played the whole game. Uh, he's definitely the guy for Florida right now. Uh, I wouldn't be shocked, though, down the line that, you know, if things don't, you know, get better, that he may not be a quarterback going down uh, going down the road, you know, later on in the season. But uh, uh, just couldn't get anything going. They couldn't get anything going on the run game. I, I mentioned in my – preview video and a prediction video that Utah is very, very good at stopping the run. And uh, speaking of that, uh, ETN, he only got uh, had seven attempts for 25 yards. Um, didn't record a touchdown. Um, Wilson, third, he only got, you know, nine yards on the ground. Montreal uh, Johnson, Jr., he was only able to get six yards on the ground. He, Utah completely shut down the run game for Florida. Uh, last season, Florida was really, really good at running the ball. Uh, couldn't get anything on the ground running. Just couldn't do anything offensively at all. Uh, the only uh, productive guy from the Florida Gators was uh, Persall and um, Ricky Persall. They moved him around in different uh, motions. You know, they motioned him out, had him in the backfield a couple times, motioned him out. Just moved him all over the field. He's definitely their number one guy. Uh, probably the number one player, you know, but uh, overall. But uh, he was able to get, you know, he was, got 13 targets, uh, eight receptions for 92 yards. So um, definitely their guy. Uh, Burt, he got 61 yards total. Uh, like I said, everybody else just, you know, couldn't do anything offensively. And um, they just shut him down uh, completely. Utah, on the other hand, uh, they was able to get, you know, like I said, Barnes, he had 12 completions with 18 attempts for 159 yards and a touchdown. And I'm not mistaken, he, he ran one in as well. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, he ran one in for 11 yards. Um, just had a great day. And also, uh, Nate Johnson, he had a good day. You know, uh, that guy got some uh, legs on him, man. He, he can run it. Uh, he had three attempts. Well, four attempts for uh, three completions for just six yards, but uh, he did a good job as well. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, he got a rushing touchdown as well. So um, for 45 yards, man, Utah, man, like I said in the prediction video, you know, I predicted, you know, did them to win, but I thought Florida would put up more of a fight. But uh, Utah had the game under control the whole night, you know, defensively, offensively. Uh, very disruptive on the defensive side of the ball. Um, did a phenomenal job. You know, Kyle Winham just uh, one a very, very great coach. He always puts out, you know, uh, great teams, and uh, they continue that tonight. You know, uh, total pass yards, like I said, Florida was able to get 333 through the air, but only got 13 rushing yards, guys. Uh, that's horrible. My opinion, rushing wise, you need to get somewhere north of 150 yards. You know, you got to at least get that on the ground. And uh, Florida failed to do that. Got a lot of problems, man. The offensive line, look, you know, out of sync, couldn't do anything. A lot of struggles, a lot of false starts. Uh, just looked at discombobulated out there. You know, um, total yards they was able to get. It looks like they got. 346 total yards. Uh, 
for Utah, they only got 165 pass yards. They got 105 on the ground. Florida, for the most part, you know, kind of stopped their run. You know, they run game a little bit, but it, it didn't matter. Uh, Utah was just able to move the ball when they wanted to, for the most part. Total yards, they, they got 270 uh, total yards. So, Florida was able to outgain them. They just couldn't. Uh, it didn't matter, show up where it mattered on the scoreboard. And, um, very good game, man, uh, for Utah. Florida, got to go back to the drawing board. Got to fix some things. But uh, that's all I have for the video, guys. Uh, they definitely got to step their game up. What you guys think about it? You know, leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section. And once again, guys, if you haven't, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. And I'll definitely be back with more college football content. Thanks, guys, and roll tide.